Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon. 90 Day Fiance TJ Goswami's father Yash calls Kimberly Rochelle stupid on the other way. It's wedding week for 90 Day Fiance. The other way's Kimberly Rochelle and Tejasui TJ Goswami. Fans were concerned the nuptials might not happen after their explosive argument over their apartment. Kimberly is a clairvoyant from Alabama and was manifested into her fiance TJ's life. But when she arrived to live permanently with him in India, she did not find her dream home. Now the couple's problems are multiplying as TJ's family is now fully involved in their relationship, causing Kimberly and TJ's brother Tash to have a huge blowout fight. When we first met the couple, they were getting ready to be reunited and start their lives together permanently with TJ's family. Kimberly Rochelle lived there for a year previously on a student visa. He had a separate upstairs apartment built for them to have a space of their own. However, when Kimberly saw her new home, she was beyond disappointed, and it caused a huge argument between the 90-day fans pair. In an interview, TJ said that Kimberly was nitpicking everything about the apartment. The argument escalated quickly and became toxic. He expressed that her harsh words to him were what he found most upsetting. She should keep her language to herself. TJ exclaimed, she starts with, this is not right, that's not right. Such rudeness would not work here. When Kimberly and TJ's brother Yash went on a trip to the store together, things took a turn for the worse. While Yash explained TJ's family and the values they adhere to, Kimberly didn't seem to agree with his perspective. This led to the two having a heated argument. Yash even calls her stupid. His comment sets her off and leads to more arguing between the two. TJ saying that his whole family is upset, it worries me, Kimberly shared later in an interview. Because the fact that they're now getting involved is just making it more clear that I'm not going to be able to have a private conversation with my husband. It's going to be the whole family involved, and that doesn't seem fair. While she was able to express this to TJ, it seems the two simply agreed to disagree about his family's involvement. Kimberly told her 90-day fiancé she felt that they should be able to have our own fights and not have your family involved. But TJ fundamentally disagreed that the argument wasn't his parents' business. I feel like everything's okay between me and him, but not necessarily between me and the rest of the family, she added. I think it's going to be very challenging living with them, but I'm willing to do anything to keep TJ in my life because I love him and I'm excited to get married and start our life together. In the United States, it's fair to say that while families are close, it's not extremely common for entire family units to live together in the same space. From what 90 Day Fiance has shown viewers about India, it's not only more common, but it's expected that when women are married that they will move in with their in-laws too. From there, the new daughter-in-law will be responsible for housework. She will also take care of her new family. In this case, it is not clear what Kimberly's role will be with her new family. She may not have as much freedom in India as she would in the United States. But her potential in-laws are far less strict than other families we've previously met in the franchise. For example, they permitted TJ to add an entirely separate apartment floor. They might be able to physically live with some measure of privacy and separation. Although, from what we have seen so far, they will keep a close eye on their son. What is clear is that TJ's family will be very involved in the couple's daily lives from now on.